Good morning, Tom. Well, today is Monday, March 29th, 2021. Oxford Community Parks is looking for volunteers to help with their annual Easter egg hunt on Saturday, April 3rd. Volunteers would need to arrive by 9 and would be done by noon. If you are interested, reach out to Ryan Himes, rhimes at cityofoxford.org, and Emily Schollenberger, e, e. Schollenberger at cityofoxford.org. FCCLA will be hosting the Spring Blood Drive to be held on Friday, April 16th, 730 to 1130. You must be 16 years old to donate. Each donation saves three lives. Sign-ups will start after spring break. Forms will be available then. Now for sports with Luke West Poli. Hi, I'm Mr. McGahey. I teach world history freshman level, and I also teach AP world history junior and senior level. Uh, fun fact about me is I have 22 chickens at my house and two goats as well. And uh, a student I would like to learn about is Jackson Bird. Welcome back everyone, hope you all had a great spring break. In the bracket challenge, currently in second place is Braden Shiflett and production's own Caleb Bogseth is in first. There's still time to catch up though. The Elite Eight begins tonight. The baseball team opened up their regular season with a 6-1 win over the Fenwick Falcons on Saturday. They've got a big week coming up with a four game set, starting with a 5 p.m. start tomorrow at Monroe. And the softball team opened their regular season with a split against Mountain Notre Dame this weekend. The first game was a 3-0 win for the Brave, the second a 6-3 loss. They also have a big week coming up beginning with a trip to Hamilton to play the Big Blue at 5 o'clock tonight. And the track team started their season this weekend at the Harrison Wildcat opener. There were numerous event wins on both sides for the Brave, with the boys coming out with a second place finish and the girls with a third. The track team will host the Towel on the Brave Invitational at home tomorrow night. The lacrosse team swept their, their games over spring break, starting with a 21-1 road blowout over Xenia, then back at home with a 22-2 victory over Taylor, and finally a 19-16 win over Monroe. Grady Holmes led the team with 20 goals over that stretch. Brendan Bohan had 13, and Ben Schreider went undefeated in net. The Brave will continue their season tonight as they will head to Dayton to battle Chaminade Julian. And that's our broadcast today. I'm Luke Westpoli. Thanks so much for watching. All the single ladies, put your hands up. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.